Beam NG is the best vehicle simulation by a wide margin, and I love it. But sadly, no macOS version, so we need some workarounds to play it on a Mac. I found four reliable ways, and I'll tell you about them in the next few minutes. If at any point you find yourself overwhelmed with all the information, there is a link to our site in the description, where you will find a very structured article on how to play the game. Two of the ways to play it involve cloud gaming, and the other two let you download it and run it locally. But before you choose which one you want, you'll have to buy the game. You can get it from Steam, Epic, or Humble Bundle. We'll leave links below. Also note that only the Steam version is supported on the two cloud gaming services I'll talk about next. The first method you can use is Boosteroid, the cheapest cloud gaming service that's actually any good. The main draw of cloud gaming is that your machine doesn't matter, so long as you can supply it with around 40 megabits of stable internet. Whether you are on a high-end M4 Pro or a base M1 MacBook Air, you can crank up everything to max even in 4K and you should be more than fine. Especially in the case of a demanding game like BeamNG, the fact you can run it with maxed out graphics on any Mac is not to be ignored. That's not to say the local methods aren't valid, but the truth is, you'll need at least an M2 Pro to get decent performance without using the lowest settings. On the other hand, to play it with Boosteroid, you just need an OK internet. All you have to do to start gaming is follow the link in the description, register for the service, and buy a subscription. Then just search for the game and click play. You'll be asked to log into your Steam account and the game will start after that. It's all pretty easy, but we have a how-to tutorial if you need it, and an overview of the service if you want something more in-depth to make up your mind. The next solution is GeForce Now, and it is the largest and most popular cloud gaming service out there. Its pricing is steeper than Boostroid, but this is somewhat offset by its larger gaming library. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on personal preference, but I still prefer Boosteroid simply because it gives pretty much the same performance, but at a considerably better price. But if you want the best of the best with all the bells and whistles, go with GeForce Now. Like with Boosteroid, all you need is stable internet with around 40 MBs, and you can play BeamNG with 1080p and 60fps without any noteworthy lag. And if you've got a faster internet, say around 50 megabits per second, you can stream with 4K and 120 FPS. Using GFN is similarly simple. Just go to the respective link below, click join now, pick a preferred plan, and register. Then download the service's macOS app, launch it, and look for BeamNG. Then click play, and after logging into Steam, you can start playing. Crossover is the go-to method in 2025 if you want to use your Mac's hardware. It will give you the ability to play anywhere you want without internet limitations and scales better with newer Macs. But you're not going to get anywhere near the graphical fidelity or performance you'll have with cloud solutions. This is especially true for a game like Beam NG. Even a high-end Apple Silicon machine will struggle to run it with high graphics. In other words, for anything below an M2 Pro with 16 gigs, I do not recommend this method. But for users with more powerful Macs, Crossover works just fine and you shouldn't encounter any serious bugs. Also, with this method, you can use mods for single player games and there's a 14 day free trial. To use Crossover, click the link in the description, enter your email and download the app. Then, after you install Crossover, you must click the Try Now option for the 14 day trial. If you need a longer tutorial, visit our video on that. Just note that the experience with Crossover can sometimes vary between updates, so don't be surprised if it suddenly starts to break the game. If this happens, check our site for the detailed instructions or you'll have to research this on your own. Kegworks is currently the most popular replacement for Whiskey since the latter got discontinued by its developer. Think of it as a DIY version of Crossover. It's free, but it's not as reliable or user-friendly. I personally prefer Crossover, but if you are on a tight budget, you can give Kegworks a go. For this game in particular, Kegworks gets the job done and lets you play it on a Mac, but you should still be prepared for occasional bugs while working with the tool. Performance-wise, it's also similar to Crossover, but with more jank and potential for things breaking down. As for the setup, you first need to install Homebrew then Kegworks itself, then Steam, and then the actual game. The process takes a bit more time compared to the other methods here and so is beyond the scope of this video. For detailed guidance on how to set up Kegworks, just click the respective video in the description and it will show you exactly what to do. So these were the best methods for playing this game. If you want to explore more popular gaming titles that you can play on your Mac, check the videos that should now appear on your screen or simply browse through our channel. Also, if you found this content helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you in the next one.